from this conversation, I can really see that you're a very positive person. I mean, you know how to handle criticisms. I mean, you, you take it as constructive ones. So during the past two weeks, what do you think is that one um, criticism or should we say comment that, that, mm, that hurt you in one way or another? I guess yung height issue since they've always, um, uh, paano ba? Like, more focus sila sa height ko since I stand 5 feet, 5 inches dun sa binibini. But for I know for a fact na I stand 6 feet tall. Just kidding. <laughs> so there, sometimes I just ignore it. And, ano mo, mas, mas much a challenge can you to stand tall. Not just physically, but, you know, sometimes uh, you can stand out among the rest of the girls to your personality. So you just just being, nagpapakatotoo lang ako na, since I do have a bubbly personality, sometimes... I just laugh it off, na parang ako pinakamatangkad. So kahit katabi ko yung iba, as in, yun, more on your mentality rin it matters eh. So it should go hand in hand. And I really admire you for, for, for saying to everyone that... Um, Correct. And you mentioned that you stand 5'5", five five, but still, you, you walk like a six-footer. That is correct. That is the correct mentality. Alright, in terms of your Binibini experience, um, I believe that you've seen our previous interview with good friend Diane Nesso. And what can you say about her comment um, during that interview? She, she told us that if ever there would be someone who would be given the Miss Friendship Award, that would be you, your good friend, um, Patty. So what do you think about this? Uh, I'm so touched. And it's a privilege coming from Diane. Hearing it from Diane, the Miss Runner up itself. So yeah, herself pala, sorry. So, um, na appreciate ko siya since... Um, I appreciate ni mga ginagawa ko sa kanya. Well, take turns naman din kami as, as well as I'm with Isabel. <laughs> so yan, trio kami, kaming tatlo. So yun, maraming salamat ba yan and appreciate mo yung mga good deeds ko as well as yours. I appreciate it too. So yan. Sana yun. Yun lang. <laughs> Ayoko na ito <laughs> Okay. Um, in terms of your Binibini experience, I mean, we've been here for almost a month already and we're running close to April 10. So far, what are your best experiences? I mean, every day is a schedule for Binibini Pilipinas and, and come um, the last part of, of March, I believe that it's going to be strenuous and lots of, of schedules for you girls. So, so far, what has been your most um, beautiful experiences joining this pageant? Actually, I'm looking forward to our everyday activities since mostly major surprise yung activities naman since they always give tentative schedules. So, I challenge myself to, you know, be the best of the best in every day. Apparently, there's always a room for improvement and that it um, this moment gives me a chance to to um, meet a lot of people from different walks of life, like all these girls, and actually even learn from them. Na despite na let's just say um, na I've experienced so many, um, or uh, since I've joined national pageants, na parang I'm still open to their. Sometimes I'm tututuren ako sa mga ibang strategies and techniques nila, and then what else? Aside from the food, since I really have a big appetite, that's <laughs> so. Manami salamat po sa pizza <laughs> and Taco Bell. Just kidding. So there, na parang it gives you a chance to um, to hone or to help you reach your maximum potential, as well as to hone your your skills and abilities more. So let's see what happens. Kung ano result, sana may progress or let's just say more consistent. And we all know, I mean, all pageant fans know that you are one of the top contenders. It's a known fact in Binibining Pilipinas. And of course, everyone is hopeful for the best um, come April 10. We'd like to ask your opinion, if ever you'd be given a chance, excluding yourself first, um, who are your top five Binibining Pilipinas 2011? Before answering that, it has always been my um, principle of conduct ever since um, joining into a national pageant na to compete for myself and not with anybody else. So and these girls serve as my motivational tool na if they can do it na parang kung kaya nila maging sexy or maganda so can I. So so aside from sige, five girls since each and every one of us has parang uniqueness or there's a oomph in every candidate. Can I give 10? <laughs> Just kidding. Um sige, five na lang nga muna. So definitely um Diane Nesho. Isabella Manhon, Shamsi Supsup, MJ uh, Lastimosa, and 
Diana Repolo. The rest, Dark Horse. Ayaw kong ano, para surprise. <laughs> okay. So, alright. So, come April 10 or, or days before April 10, what are your expectations? I mean, for the upcoming weeks and, and rigorous um, schedules in the Philippines, what else are your expectations for this pageant? Since it's gonna be as um, just like what you've said, Kadina, na rigorous, more on rigorous activities. So, yeah, looking forward to um, get to know more the girls as well as Madam Stella, and to you know challenge myself, I myself to be, to strive for to be the best version of myself. That's what I always think and say. So there, and to always feel, think, and act like a winner. So yeah. Okay. Um, we believe that you don't have any problem in terms of your communications. I mean, um, you know, um, you are one of the best um, walkers in, in the Binibining Pilipinas 2011. So we'd like to test, I believe that our viewers would like to test if, if ever you're already there at, the, at that final moment. So we'd like to ask you a few sample questions. All right. Okay. So the first question is, are you ready for your final question? I'm always ready. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so here's your question. How far will you go to win the crown? How far will I go to win the crown? Well, I was able to put on hold one of my biggest dreams, and that is to teach. I was able to put on hold my teaching career for this one, and I know for a fact that um, joining um, Binibining Pilipinas is not just a great avenue for opportunities or for other things, but... Um, this pageant helped me to reach my maximum potential and I want to prove to myself that I've made the right decision and this only comes once in a blue moon and I don't want this opportunity to slip in my hands since God has given me um, wonderful blessings and I want to tap my God-given potentials as well as, you know, to, to inspire other people, mostly young kids, both young and mature minds alike, to dream big that anything is possible as long as you put your mind, heart, especially God into it. You know, and having a positive outlook in life that you can, um, you can deal any problems. That in every problem, there's always a solution. So there, keep moving forward. <laughs> okay. And second question, um, we all know that if, if you'd like to dream something, you have to dream out loud so that the one there would actually hear what you want to happen. So, do you think you are ready for the universe? Of course. <laughs> there. So, let's end this conversation by giving your message to all your supporters. To all the people, beautiful, beautiful random people, to my friends and family who keeps on, who continue to support me through my journey in Binibining Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po. You've been very, uh, you've been a, a big help in this journey. And um, because of you guys, um, I've become a better and mature person. As well as um, I've become a stronger and confident and happy. So maraming salamat po and let's continue supporting not just me as well as other candidates as well and avoid bashing. <laughs> so there, so dasal lang po tayo and I always keep my fingers crossed and let's hope for the best and let's see what happens in pop. Come coronation night. Thank you so much Patricia and it has been a pleasure um, having been able to, to talk to you tonight. Thank you so much and we wish you the best of luck come April 10. Thank you.